Pesco Solito. In today's training video, I want to show you how to create a Facebook conversion tracking pixel. Now, why would you want to do that if you're using Facebook advertising? Well, it's important that you know that where your conversions are coming from. So if you've got a lot of different ads running, you need to know, are you getting leads from this? Are you making sales? Because if you're not, then you don't need to be spending money on that particular ad. And if you're running multiple ads, you're not gonna know where your sales are coming from or where your leads are coming from. Now, we are somewhat limited for those of you out there that are using programs that give you capture pages already that you don't own and you can't insert these conversion tracking pixels on those pages. So I'm gonna show you some examples that we use and where you can do this. So if you actually have created your own capture page and you're gonna run an ad to drive traffic straight to that page and you've created it, you've done all the HTML coding, all that fancy stuff, then you can insert these conversion tracking pixels. Now for those of you that, again, that are using programs out there that don't allow you to do that, you're not gonna be able to do this. So one of the things that we use is a page called Lead Pages. So for example, in this particular page that I created, and I'll put a link below the video if you want to get access to lead pages. It's a really great program uh, to where you can create capture pages, opt-in pages, squeeze pages, sales pages, webinar pages, all kinds of stuff. They have a ton of different templates. But what you're going to do is in lead pages, there's an option here called tracking code. And this is where I inserted this conversion tracking pixel. All right. So what I'm tracking here is when I drive traffic here, I am tracking leads. Am I getting leads for my Facebook money? Am I putting this money that I'm putting into Facebook, am I actually getting a return on it? Am I getting leads? Because if I'm not, I'm not going to want to keep running this. So what I would come over here do and do is I would click on this ad and I've already got this tracking pixel inserted. So I can click on it and I've got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different ads running here. I actually need to pause these ads. So I've got one, two, three, four, six ads running with different images. And then what I could do is I could take a look at this actual page right here, come over to the right, and for this one click, I actually got a lead from this, okay? So that's excellent right there. I got a lead already just from one click. Now let's look at this one. I've gotten 17 clicks on this ad and because I have a conversion tracking pixel on here, looking at my leads, I've gotten four leads out of these 17 clicks. This one right here has gotten three clicks and I've generated one lead. Um, this one here, I've generated seven leads and have gotten 35 clicks. That's okay, I, I take that. I mean, so what I'm seeing here is my goal is to generate leads. And that, by inserting this tracking pixel, it is telling me, yes, I'm generating leads. You're doing your job, Michelle. You're putting money into Facebook advertising and you're getting a return. So it all depends on what you are looking for and as far as the return goes. So let me just show you the conversion tracking, how to do that. You click on conversion tracking pixel, or tracking in the back of your ad manager. And once this page opens up, over to the right here, you click on create a pixel and you want to name this pixel. So let's just say we want to track checkouts. Maybe for those of you that have created your own pages and you have created a sales page, now you want to track how many checkouts, how many people actually bought the product, they have clicked the checkout button for the particular ad that you're running. So that would be this option here and you would name it. Um, maybe you just want to do a webinar registration and you have created a page and you want to track how many people are registering from your ad. You could choose registration. I'm doing leads. All I'm simply doing here is I've created a capture page. I want to know that my ad is generating me leads. This conversion tracking pixel helps me know that. Key page views, how many people are viewing it, ads to cart or other website conversions. So let's just say we want to track leads. So we can name this. So I might name this one, you know, Robbins, because, you know, leads. All right, name it whatever you want. Click create a pixel. There is the pixel you want to copy. 
and that's where I inserted it on that page. Again, it's going to be different for everybody's capture pages, unless you're using lead pages, then obviously it's right there where I just showed you. But for those of you that are making your own pages using your own script, this is where you need to grab that pixel and put it in between the head and the head in the web page so you can track these conversions. So it's a great tool that Facebook gives you. It's better than it used to be in the past. It's very hard in the past to really track your conversions. Facebook's getting better now. So I want to encourage you to make sure that you're using these so you know where your money's going. It's important to know where your money is going in your Facebook ads. And you will need to make sure that it is verified like these codes are not verified because I haven't actually inserted them on a page. If I wanted to delete them, I certainly could do that. All you have to do is come over here and click this delete, the X, and delete the pixel. That's it, okay? So I hope you got a lot of value in this training video on creating track, uh, conversion tracking pixels for Facebook. And make sure that you're using them so you're not just throwing money up against the wall and seeing if it stick. This way you're going to know where your money's going and is it actually giving you a return. So I'll see you in the next training video. Bye-bye.